what's your instant analysis of kind of what happened in this one and what you, you liked and what you want to improve on? It's basketball, so I don't want to overcomplicate it. They came out in the second half and played very aggressive. We had a great control of this game going into halftime. And then in the third quarter and fourth quarter, uh, they got uh, a lot of 50-50 basketballs. And then some few calls went the other way. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I saw in the second half. Scott, you guys need to start the game better and start the second half better. Is there anything specifically that you've seen that has affected how you guys start and start the second half? No, I'm, I'm not even, like, again, I'm not even going to overcomplicate it with you guys here. I, it just starts with just defensive pride and using our IQ to the best of our ability. We have a lot of long guys uh, in terms of length out there on the perimeter. Uh, a lot of teams getting in our paint, offensive rebound, and that's the game right there. Uh, just it's effort. Uh, and it's just positioning and body positioning. And when you're not in the right body position in basketball, you're going to get beat. And Giannis kept beating us to the spot. He kept getting to the free throw line. Um, and, it, and it showed for it tonight. I don't think anybody else, like no one else really did much except for Bobby in the first half. But I feel like we, we <clears throat> kept the rest of the guys at bay. Um, and then uh, Giannis got it going and, and just made it difficult, uh, you know, for us to, to stop his rhythm. Once he gets going downhill and he starts getting to the free throw line um, and we're sitting there almost every play looking at the rest, then, you know, we're going to get beat. So tonight was just a learning lesson uh, along the journey, and uh, we take one. Kyrie, go ahead, Nick. Speaking of learning lessons, we talked about it the last few days with Ben and aggression, and you were talking about you think it might be a little mental right now. From where you sit, what can you guys do to get him to shoot it more? I mean, I just think, like, if we're going to come in and be honest as a team, I'm, I'm not trying to just be critical over what Ben's done right or done wrong every single night. He's a basketball player. He's a professional. He has the skills to be a great professional. Um, he's done it in the past, and he hasn't played in two years. So you guys keep coming in here asking me, like, what about Ben? What about Ben? And it's just he hasn't played in two years. because I'm from Jersey, but we, think we stay on him. And uh, <laughs> like you just stay on him, and, and we're just here to give him positive affirmations uh, while he's out there and just let him hoop. You know, and then while he's hooping and getting back into it, we're going to have to really gel as a team in order to learn how to win as a group. You know, it's not an individual uh, individual's job to go out there and be Superman. He doesn't have to. You know, there's no such thing that's made up anyway. So and I like to, to say a phrase that my dad said, a hero is nothing but a sandwich. And <laughs> I'm serious. Everybody wants to be a hero out here in basketball, but then it's a team game. So uh, we're just developing. And I was a little frustrated after the game, rightfully so, emotional about competition. Um, but it's a long season ahead of us, and we know that these little things are going to keep biting us in the, in the butt if we allow teams to come in and allow their star players or guys that are in rhythm score plus 30. I think we've had a guy score 30 on us every game. So that in itself just shows you you know, our attention to detail, our IQ, and our body positioning is not there yet. Now, the only thing on this one is just that the mic caught you at the mic of third quarter say, shoot it, Ben. Mm -hmm. And I think people heard that, and they're seeing the team just wanted him to do more. That was the only difference in this case. Yeah, I mean, when I, when I passed it to him, I felt like he had a, a layup at, at the rim. Um, and I looked him out and I was like, shoot it, Ben. And uh, of course, again, um, it's just a clip. You know, it's a full game that we can look at. Uh, and, and dissect, and that's what I'll do. Uh, this is a big picture thing. You know, we want Ben to be, uh, you know, aggressive every single play, and we want him to get assist every single play. We want him to rebound. We want him to play against the best player. We want him to do all the things that, you know, he, we know he's capable of. But at this time, he's going to have to work himself into his own confidence and feel good about himself. And I'm not going to say I'm being patient or humble about it, but. Uh, the reality is that we're just going to keep having to try this experiment every single night until we get the right recipe. How about your recipe? Are there things in that five minutes, I mean, it was about four and a half minutes stretch where he was playing kind of like a small ball five. Mm -hmm. We haven't got a chance to see much of that yeah. this year. Are there things in that stretch that can help him and help you guys? Yeah, I mean, the game is moving in a direction where a lot of these guys that are 6'10 and above are able to do a 
you know, do it all. And as we saw with Giannis tonight, I, I don't. I think Bud called maybe 50 pick and rolls for Giannis tonight, or ISO for him. And Ben's able to guard, but especially when we have him at that small ball five, we're able to switch a lot of uh, pick and rolls. We're able to switch a lot of things, which I think works to our advantage. So uh, when we see that lineup out there like that, I feel like we have a great chance of um, pushing the basketball on offensive end and defensively, just being sound.